morning YouTube. Hope everybody is well. Now it's lovely morning, as you can probably see. Taking the nutcase dog <laughs> out for a walk. I just thought I'd stop and uh, have something to eat quickly and show you this. So I've been sent this very kindly by one tigress to give it a, a battering basically and that's what I've done. So this is a tested review. I've had this, I got it before Christmas now maybe November time, late November, early December. I think it was late November. But anyway, one Tigris uh, firebox. I think it's called, I can't remember the exact name. Yeah. yeah, I'll put it there. So it's basically a cheap version of the bush box. So I've got my bush box to sort of compare it. Now I'm really impressed with this. Um, I'm lazy, so I like the bush box just because it opens out concertinas out and just fits away nicely it's titanium so it's a bit lighter but this one is slightly smaller than the Bushbox XL I think it's around the same sort of size as the Bushbox LF I believe it's called so the next size down from the XL so in a comparison and I brought a me tape measure with me not a tape measure a ruler but I've forgotten the weight, so I'm going to put the weight on screen now. This is a stainless steel box and it weighs that much. Right, dimensions of it. So height wise, we are, I'll do it in centimetres and inches, so that we've got an idea. So it's 15 and a half centimetres, which is about six and a quarter inches high. And the top is square, I believe, so you've got 11 and a half centimeters which is about four and three quarter inches in width and that is square i believe yeah so 11 and a half 11 and a half by 11 and a half by what did i say 15 and a half centimeters so it is a decent size you can get the wood from petrol stations in it quite easily I mean, it does protrude from the top so once you've got your bed of embers you can feed through the front box here which is a good size um, I believe on the first one they only had one that was like a tiny little square probably about half the size of that which I think people did complain about so they've adjusted it and um, it seems to do the job so if we compare it to the Bushbox XL now this is the titanium version which is nice and light. I'd say it's not a great deal different to the to the one Tigris, but it's slightly bigger. So obviously the ease of this, and you can see this has had a battering over the years, so it takes a bit of TLC to get it into place now, but it's still going. I think I've had it three, two or three years now. So in comparison, you can see it's not actually a great deal bigger because by the time this has got bigger feet on it, so by the time it stands on the floor, it looks quite a bit taller. But in fairness, the box size is actually pretty similar. As you can see by that side profile, look, ignore the feet on the bush box. So it's only centimeters bigger really. Um, yeah, like I say, I'm lazy, so this is my go-to. I love it. Love the Bushbox XL. I forgot to write down the weights, so what I'm going to do is do hold them there like that, and I'll put a weight above for that one, and a weight above for this one. Bear in mind, this is titanium and this is steel, but the metal is thinner on this one, I believe, than it is on this one. Also, while I've got them here, this is the price of this one and this is the price of this one so as you can see there's a substantial difference in the price you're paying for the metal here titanium is ridiculously expensive at the best of times they do a stainless steel version of this which is obviously a lot heavier but a considerable amount cheaper as well i believe it's probably sturdier i mean you can see that this has warped it's still very functional but even this is warped so any metal that you've got high heat is going to bend and twist out of shape. 
but I found with both of them just a little bit of gentle persuasion and you can twist them back so it's not a problem. Going back to the one tigress as I was saying earlier the tray in it I raise that up onto this slot here when I'm using Trangia so you could always even just put those in one of those in like that and you could even put it in the front as well just for a bit of extra strength so you could sit change on that I might actually do that for this purpose of this video actually no I can't because I need these for the pots or for the frying pan okay so you've got your standard two slats there fit into each other and then go on the top of the grill like so so it's very sturdy it's good good for the pot so you've got some airflow holes here same on the back cool face I like that that's what I liked about it at the start and obviously there's a big window here for feeding sticks into and decent airflow gaps underneath so overall I'm impressed and especially for the price of it I mean if you don't want to spend hundreds of pounds on a titanium version or even the 70 or 80 quid whatever the normal bush box is then definitely highly recommend this okay I'm actually freezing so I didn't bring any gloves today I didn't realize how cold it was so I'm gonna get the trangier going and cook a bit of a bacon right <laughs> bacon crumpet I've got to think of a name for them crumpets with bacon in so I'm either gonna go for crampon or a bake it crampon or bake it let me know what you think crampon or bake it because I'm claiming that I haven't seen anybody else um, anybody else do bacon crampons <laughs> but crampon doesn't quite sound right does it you do anyway let's get some food on because I'm starving and cold okay so the construction's pretty simple really once you get used to it and you've done it a few times um, it's simple to work out so I tend to try and do it on the floor just because it makes life a bit easier so I've got two side sections one and two you find the back section which is this one so these are your tray slots so you've got the the ash pan bit at the bottom and then your grill sort of bit that um, lets the air flow through uh, which goes in second so when I'm using the Trangia I tend to put everything at the top so that the Trangia sits at the top of the <clears throat> top of the box and then you haven't got to put the little slats in to um, to raise it up you can just put it flat on that bed so I'll do it for setting up as you're gonna have it with a fire to start with so start off by just putting the bottom bit in like that now this is the fiddly bit okay ignore that so first of all what I do slot one side in so when it warps a little bit it became, becomes a little trickier to sort of get together but nothing too major so now get the other side so obviously if you just make sure these slots are lined up with each other it's only one way it can fit in anyway but oh, I've got a leaf stuck on there so then the next side like that and then get your bottom tray the ash tray that in right there's only one way it can go so you've got three sides obviously the two side these two side bits want to go in the side and that goes in the back so let's just do that one sorry it goes on the bottom doesn't it that one and then that one the vent tray and then I'll just this is where it's easier to put on the floor. Slide those two in that side. Slide those two in that side. And then you can pick it up. So then you want to get the front bit. Now, 
this is where you just try and line them all up one side line them all up the other side and that's it all done okay so as you can see here I've just opened up the sides again because I want the trangier to sit near the top fold one side in fold the other side in get the front there you go I love you. <laughs> Good boy. Off the coffee at the moment, so we've got herbal teas. Sit, sit, pour, 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 wait, wait, good boy. <laughs> and I'm going to add a sausage to this one as well. Back to the brown again. Loving the brown sauce at the moment. There we go, look. <laughs> well proud of this new little invention. So let me know what you think I should call them. Obviously they've got sausages in this time, so they're a bit different. There we have it, a bit of breakfast, a bit of a dog walk and a little review on this. So my final verdict, if you're looking for a cheap alternative at a bush box, highly recommend. Does exactly what the bush box does, only difference is you have to put it together manually rather than just opening it up. But it takes what, two minutes, a minute, I reckon you could do that in a minute once you got used to it. So yeah, thank you One Tigress for sending me this out. If you're interested, it's not an affiliate link or anything, but I'll put the link for this product in the description below. Um, it's got my royal seal of approval. Uh, not that it's anything to go by, but decent. I've had the push box for a couple of years, I've had this for a couple of months, exactly the same. Um, can't go wrong for the 20 odd quid, whatever it is. So yeah. Thanks very much guys, uh, hopefully 
be allowed out camping again soon. Are we now? End of end of January, but I've got a feeling lockdown's going to go on through February as well. So might be some review videos to come. Um, if you want a review video on anything, uh, let us know in the comments. I'm going to leave this one here. Hope everybody stays safe and look after themselves. Love you all. Bye. It was my seat. Picked up everything around. No rubbish. Leave no trace. That sunrise, look. Look at that dog, look. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button, giving the video a thumbs up, and uh, see you all again soon.